understand that. So Pedro Sanchez, uh, the 2002 World Food Prize laureate. Thank you. Okay, when Norman Borlaug, about 10 years ago, um, came to one of those meetings and said, there is a nasty virulent wheat stem rust uh, named UG99, UG and that can really devastate wheat production in Africa and, and the Middle East. Things happen, because he, in his usual way, started, uh, started uh, <clears throat> banging on the floor. Uh, and guess what? UG99 is still around, but it's not a major pest. Now, we have something similar, a similar threat in Africa called the fall army worm. And three of us laureates decided that maybe the three of us could raise the alarm about this. <clears throat> so Rob Fraley, the 2013 laureate, Akina Desina, the 2017 laureate, and myself, decided to make a call. And it comes, you can have the first slide, please. It comes at a time when Africa is doing great. Uh, when, when things, uh, uh, what you see here is that uh, May seals have increased. Now the, sh the curve just changed to, uh, <clears throat> uh, to a different curve and uh, with a 50% yield increase, which the numbers aren't great, but it's sure the beginning. Things have changed. So. The fall army worm, next, next slide please, in Africa, started in January 2016. And I call it a clear and present danger, and we do. It could really reverse the gains already obtained in the last 10 years that have been uh, very, very good and product of many people um, uh, sitting in this, in this room. Uh, it's, it's epitome of an invasive special. It's originally from tropical America, and it's been known in the U.S. since 1800s, and I ha have heard all sorts of anecdotal stories from all farmers in the U.S. how the fall army worm devastated the corn crops and many other ones. And next, please. So, um, this, this is a larva that does the eating. It, the adult is a moth, and that moth can fly 100 kilometers per night. And, uh, and moves, and uh, it overwinters in South Florida, and it goes all the way to Canada. And there, the winter kills it. The problem in Africa is we don't have a winter to kill it. So, um, <clears throat> it reproduces very quickly, and has no dormancy, and it feeds in more than 80 species. So we're talking here mainly about corn, but it also includes rice, wheat, sugar cane, vegetable crops, and cotton. Next, please. <clears throat> it was introduced in West Africa, probably in Nigeria, in early 2016, probably by aircraft. Uh, and it's 90% certainty that it is a strain of army worm from Florida. Now, disqualifying myself, I moved to Florida about a year before that. <laughs> so I had nothing to do with it. <clears throat> okay. Nevertheless, the household surveys uh, uh, of, of CABI uh, now shows the tremendous, uh, the tremendous uh, increases in crop losses, about 45% in Ghana, 70% in Zambia and Southern Africa. And what you see here is, is how quickly it has spread basically to all over Sub-Saharan Africa. And Europe is next. <clears throat> so um, about 1% of the area planted to corn in Africa is, is, is affected now. That's about 300,000 uh, 300, hectares, or 70, 770, um, 760,000 acres. That's only 1% of the area. It's estimated that will increase uh, to affecting 7 million hectares uh, in, 19, uh, in 2018, and gosh knows what will happen in 2019. Um, FAO is coordinating efforts to produce the field manual. Please, uh, next one. And, uh, but the consensus 
uh, th uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding on science. This is what this uh, insect does, and it does it to the whole, to the whole thing, uh, to the whole field. Um, but the fall army worms has been controlled in the US and Brazil, and there are a lot of uh, Africa-based scientists who are doing already a good job, and, and there's, a sense, there's a sense of optimism. Uh, next, please. There are control strategies now, integrated pest management, which include biological control, host plant resistance or breeding, specifically transgenic biotechnology, BT corn, which is probably an essential component of it, and uh, it's not that simple also. Uh, insecticides, lots of problems, more negatives than, than positives. Um, you need, uh, there's a lot of problems with adulteration of, her, uh, of insecticides in Africa, as well as adulteration of fertilizers. Uh, there is rapid seed, producing, uh, seed production of tolerant cultivars of various crops are needed, and very good agronomy and management. So, a bunch of us that you can uh, see us tomorrow uh, at an early breakfast um, from different parts uh, uh, of the world have gotten together and call ourselves the Science Advisory Board uh, and, and, uh, on, the, on the Army Worm, and, uh, and, and we hope to provide the science-based knowledge about this. I am not an entomologist. Those who know me, you know I'm a soil scientist, but I'm scared to death about this. And so far, in about half a year of being involved with it, I've yet to see any, any, any mention that says, ah, oh, well, it's not that serious and all that. Hopefully, it will be controlled. It will never be eradicated. But hopefully, 10 years from now, we would say, just like UG99, yeah, it's still there. But it's not, it's not a major issue. I think the fate of African food security really hinges now on this clear and present danger. Thank you very much. Okay, Pedro, good job.